Yo, what's up? The name is Gently One, and welcome back to more Ocarina of Time. As I came back up here to where the bomb bag was, short little trip, but we continue through the dungeon. There's the stones I was thinking of earlier. They have message stones, so now that one rock will take us all the way back up here. What's this say? Check. Giant dead Dongo, when it sees red, a new way to go will be open. So that's a hint to what we gotta do next. Uh, listen. With that switch on, the moving platform goes higher. Now you can quickly reach the second floor. Yep, that's what I just said. But Navi can't hear me, so I'll forgive her. Now this one actually screwed me over when I was little as well. I'm, I was like no good at puzzles when I was littler. So what you gotta do is drop a bomb in his eye because explosions make fire and fire is red. So as you see, have him see red, his eye will light up and that looks pretty menacing. No, no, there we go. Don't jump down there yet, Link. There's a wall over here, and the compass says there's treasure behind it. So we've got to check it out. Small chest. Kick it open. Free prizes. Blue rupee to make up for my idiocy buying slingshot seeds. That was an accident, seriously. I did not intend to buy slingshot seeds. But yes, another bomb in the other eye. And now the giant Dodongo sees red. And apparently that makes his jaw drop. Da, 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 da. You have unlocked a secret passageway. So the entire dungeon up to this point, and I forgot to roll there, but the entire dungeon up to this point has been pretty much worthless. If only we had bomb arrows or something. Now there's a switch, yes, there's a switch down there. And there's a block up there. There are no blocks anywhere else in here. That door is locked. And this is the only way we can go, so guess what we have to do? We have to go get that block down into that room. More pointless side excursions. No. No. I love how when they light on fire, they turn white for some reason. It's like they're black bats. I don't care. No, my shield is gone. Curses. So now we have to go all the way back to freaking uh, Kokiri Village to get another one, but... I prefer playing with no shield just because it's fun. It's more challenging. You actually have to think about things a bit. Use your mo your mobility more, your backflips and such. Ah. Okay, I believe that's where you need to go. But where you want to go is over here. Free stuff. So grab the block. Not, ah. Grab the block, knock it down here, pull it back. And put it over to the wall we can bomb. I need to just stop saying wall we can bomb as well. Since I was saying bomb we can wall. If I'm not going to do the references I don't need to point out every time. So you just need to put it over here in front of the gap in the wall. So you can climb up to it. Place a bomb. Do what you do best. Explosives expert. You get to be a black Scottish Cyclops. Demo Pam. No, you're Demo Knight. I love how you have to, since there's two actions, you have to decide to climb the block, but everything else just automatically parkours you. Here's a lone Armos. And since we have our own bombs this time, I can just hit him and not have to worry about waiting for respawns. So there's a lone Armos, and we got a another token. Yeah, two tokens, one dungeon. That's really terrible by the normal standards. So back in here, and we have to climb up again, because everything resets. I already lost my shield, so it doesn't matter to me. If you hit me, fire keys, I don't care. But I am going to say for the boss battle, I probably ought to equip my milk. Oh, no, no. I wanted to equip the freaking fairy. I wanted to catch the freaking fairy in the bottle. Oh, well, I might as well equip this. We don't need ocarina and dungeons. I believe if we come back in the room, the fairy will respawn. I don't know. Nope. Ah, curses. But there, I believe there's fairies in the in, up here too. Perhaps no. No such luck. So I'm going to have to manually heal myself. That's what I get for the blunder of accidentally picking up fairies. Because 
like the description. We haven't caught one, so it doesn't have the description yet. But when you catch one, it will revive you upon death if in a bottle. I think I've mentioned this. I don't remember. Tell me they're back. Yes. Okay. You gotta be careful about this. Fairy. Okay, drink the milk. Did the fairy just go through the wall? If the fairy went through the wall, I'm gonna beat a very Okay. It didn't. Don't you dare hit me in the cutscene. Okay. It did not activate in the cutscene. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I uh, disappeared into the next... Okay, there you are. Gotcha! Nice. You caught a fairy! You should be tried for kidnapping and court of your peers! Nah. These fairies don't speak, so it wouldn't be kidnapping anyways. Link just uh, does so much stuff, nobody questions. But yes, this tiny fairy is a reliable partner who will revive you the moment you run out of life energy. In exchange for his freedom. You can ask for its help anytime, but... Question I have over that is why can't Navi do that? She's our personal fairy. If they apparently have the magic to f save our life and then fly off, why isn't she doing that? But yes, back to here to push the block. Just push the block. Pushing blocks for days. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Somebody quick. Send me a PM with stuff to say. Nah, it'll be way too late. It'll be long after recording that you'll see this. And I'm staring at my computer, nobody said anything. Just to be ironic on Steam. Stop that. Stop hitting me! Stop hitting me! I do not want to be on fire. I'm not like you bats, I don't like being on fire. Because they apparently enjoy being on fire, because I saw one earlier go out of its way. We saw that, it went through a torch. Here's the boss room. Yes, epic boss fight. Nothing on the roof. Just blank walls. The door is open behind us, and there's a hole in the floor. Er, wait, there isn't a hole in the floor, but there is a thingy in the floor that looks like we can blow it up. Boom. As you can see, there's just a bunch of lava down there, but I see some rocks, so we're, we're safe a bit. And that's the one time in the game Link can land from that far without rolling and not take damage. And what is this? It's Godzilla! Somebody warn Tokyo! Somebody warn Tokyo! And Link's just standing there. He's not even running. He's so brave. With no shield and yeah, that's a big Dodongo. Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo! Boss battle music. Flee! What's Navi got to say on it? King Dodongo. This is a huge Dodongo. They eat anything. Give it a shock and finish it with your sword. So give it a shock. So what you want to do is when he inhales, feed him a bomb, and then stab him in the face. Just one jump hit, and then he'll roll up into a ball, clip through your face, and not damage you. And you're supposed to do this with your own bombs, but if you screw up, there's bomb flowers on the edge of the arena. But you shouldn't screw up. He's pretty obvious about what he's about to do. And hit that fire attack is his main attack. Yep, he'll just clip through your face if you hide along the walls or on the inside, but there's lava in the middle, so don't go in the middle. And his only attacks are the roll and the fire. So yeah, this is just like, hey, were you paying attention? Like, do you know how to play this game? This is the, like, well, if the Deku Tree is the tutorial, then this is the refresher, just to be completely sure that you've got everything. Because it's simple, it's effective, it's short, and the boss is a pushover. Or a stab over, whatever you want to call it. A rollover? I don't know. Dodongo used rollout. Doesn't that move hit you with friction, actually? Either way, he loses where he's going, falls into the lava, and thus nature kill steals and takes our credit. Because technically we killed him, but the lava's what finished him off. I don't know who to give credit for. To give the credit of the kill to. I don't know. English failure, but yes, here's his smoking remains. You got a heart container? No, 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 no. No weakness. No weakness. I don't care if you've got a cold. You're gonna do that properly. Let me get, do this properly. You got a heart container? There we go. Gotta do it with feeling. As they say in theater. Do it again, but with feeling. And just like Bop, it says, do it again, but uh, better. So, 10 minutes in audacity, not bad. Not bad at all. Finish up the last third of the dungeon. 
He's like, I'm safe. I'm free. Oh, snap. Darunia out of nowhere. Foreshadowing what happens in Skyward Sword where Groose jumps off the island and lands on you. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dongo's Cavern until our stomachs burst. Yeah, y'all have pretty large stomachs. I don't know if you can actually manage that. What a wild adventure. It'll make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. It's the guy from Smash Brothers again. He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Because I'm awesome like that. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Wait, isn't the king your sworn brother also? I'm equal to the king? Heck yes. My boy, this brotherhood is what all true warriors strive for. I just made that up on the spot. I don't care. No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. And even he's doing the item get pose. He's like, what? Magical teleportation spell. It's a red flash of light. Are you going to hit us with a fireball? No. We got... What do we get? Come on, tell us. What do we get? Well, apparently we just turned day into a darker version of night. Everything gone. Bl everything has gone black. That's really shiny. I love the graphics on that one. Still, this isn't my favorite stone. But you do obtain the stones in the order that I like them the most. The emerald's kind of plain. This one's really cool. And then the next one's the best one, in my opinion. You obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Here, old. Everybody falls from the sky. Who knew they could fly? You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Oh, no, 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 no! No, flee! Flee! <laughs> it's just so hilarious. And then they all disappear. Just a one back down there again. We still had the fairy. We took no damage. That's nice. Or did I take damage? I can't remember. So, yes. There's a great fairy on top of the mountain. Here's the path to the top of the mountain. I'm going to clear this out and then end the episode. Let's see what the sign says. We can't murder the sign. Mountain summit. Danger ahead. Keep out. So here's some rocks we can just get rid of. You can get rid of rocks that are colored like this by bombing them. No problem. Blue rupee for my troubles. And here's another annoying one. I just throw it and try to land. Oh. Curses. I got close. But I think you can land it on top of the wall to the left of it. Uh, your bombs have a different timing from the plants, don't they? I don't know. Uh, it's getting hard to speak. My nose keeps stopping up because of the freaking... I don't know if it's a cold or allergies. I'm pretty sure it's a cold. I should have taken Dayquil. But yes, made it to the top. There's a bomb. Or, yeah, there's a bomb we can rock. Oh, whatever. This has been Gently One. I'll see you next time. Enough of messing around.